The SB support account, shipped with your installation of SBXA, provides two key utilities. First, it helps you to solve problems in your application. The SB support account automates much of the work of creating, packaging, and shipping a replication case. It also provides utilities that automate the comparison of key parameter files between the system in which you have a problem and the parameters in a clean system. Second, the SB support account also has a suite of performance tests that allow you to test the performance of various elements of your application. This demonstration will show you briefly what you can do in the SB support account. For complete documentation, see the Administering SBXA Manual, available at docs.rocketsoftware.com. Before you can use the SB support account, you have to set it up, but it doesn't take long. The SB support account is shipped with the other standard accounts and can be found in the same place. In the SBXA client, first set up SB support as a valid application in your system. Add the information for this application. The path is the same as those for SB and SB demo. Now that the application is set up, add it to a group or user security record. Now you're ready to go. Connect to SB support. The primary function of the SB support account is issue replication. You will do most of this work in the XA Test 1 system. If you have a problem in your application, use this system to create and package a replication case to send to Rocket Support. Start with creating issue files. Enter the information about your case. You can click F5 to create your own file name, but if you do so, you must be sure to create a unique file name that will not be used by another customer. Or, more simply, just click F2, a local file with default fields that help in creating a test case is created. A directory type file, which is used to store revision control information, also is created. The next step is to use the file you just created to create your replication case. This demonstration assumes that you know how to create a replication case, but you should note some important tips in administering SBXA about file names and test data. After you create your replication case, continue in the SB support account with issue revision control. Enter your information and enter the start process for your replication case. This might be an input screen. Click F2, and the revision control record is updated with your start process. Again, we're skimming past some details here, and you should read all about this process in administering SBXA before performing these tasks. Once you have added the start process, click F5 to create the revision definition, and then F7 to complete the revision control media. Once it is created, click F8 to download the media to your PC. And that's it. You now have a completely packaged revision control, ready to be shipped and sent to Rocket Support. Also within the XA Test 1 system, you can use three utilities to compare the critical parameter files between your system and another system. The utilities ask you for the names of the files to compare, and then search the files to quickly identify the differences. These differences often provide clues as to why you are having a problem in your application. Outside the realm of issue replication, the second major function of the SB support account is performance testing. At times, for any number of reasons, you might see performance problems with different elements of your application, or you might simply be looking for ways to improve the speed of one or more elements of your application. In the SB support account, Enter the performance system and click Performance Tests. 
you can see that the account tests the performance of forms, grids, and more. And within the testing of forms, you can test different aspects of how your application handles forms. For instance, I can test how quickly my client tabs through fields on forms. When I select that test, I am prompted to enter information about my client connection, all of which can be found by clicking Options, Client Configuration from the lower right corner of the main window. Enter the information and click F2 Save. SBXA runs the test and then returns the results in a screen that illustrates exactly what things were tested and how long it took. Many of these tests give you room to experiment. You can try different suppress options and test the speed at which syscalls run until you find your optimal performance. Do the same thing with reports and the XPS download pages options. Read much more about the SB support account in the Administering SBXA manual.